Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Rosie Dunn, and uh, I'm standing to be your vice president. I'm very committed to this industry. I'm very passionate about it, and I'm also very committed to the NFU as an organisation. I'm a practical mixed farmer, and I've got a broad understanding of the issues uh, being a, a mixed farmer up in Yorkshire. I also understand the issues, but I also understand the opportunities. I think there are many opportunities, green technology, green energy and the new technology, and also Hillary Benn's announcement last week, um, Food 2030. I think that that's all going to be opportunities for farmers. I'd like to see uh, further encouragement and opportunities for younger farmers. Um, I'm doing a part-time degree in agriculture which is soon coming to an end and I've been involved with students that are on the same course as me and we've got people who are interested in coming to our industry from farming backgrounds and non-farming backgrounds and I give them a welcome and, and much encouragement because I do believe we need those young people in our industry but also we need them in our organisation. The discussions on CAP post 2013, TB, the environment, climate change and changes in upland management are all going to be important issues this year. But when I'm speaking to farmers, when I'm at the mart or I'm speaking at meetings, there are two things that come up time and time again. One's regulation, the other's viability and profitability of farms. And I do think if we get a better return for what we produce, that will address some of the problems that we face as farmers. I've always been willing to listen to members and I've never been afraid to speak up on behalf of members. And I'd very much like to represent farmer members at the next level. I've gained quite a bit of experience. I've been county chairman, council delegate, and I've also just served two years on governance board. I'd really like to be part of the office order team, and I'd really like to see some positive outcomes during my term. I think there's some good new stories that we've got to tell in the future. We've now got a supermarket ombudsman in the offing. We've got the campaign for the farming environment. I think we can really tell uh, a good story and showcase the countryside on a really simple basis. I hope you're going to offer, afford me the opportunity to become your vice president. It'll be a great honour and I'd uh, really like to work part of the office of the team. Thank you.